Finally made it to the place I wanted to go to, which is Park End near Chepstow or the Forest of Dean. Unfortunately the weather's not great today, but I expected it to be that way. But I come down this way to try and find a dipper, which will be in that stream over there, you probably can't see. And also in the hopes of seeing a gosh hawk, uh, which is supposed to be present around this area. Uh, today's plan is to go and set up some go and set up some bird feeders. So when I'm sat by the stream in a nice place, I find someone. Um, if there's no dipper around, I can still take some photos of the of a wildlife. Uh, it's supposed to be a good day tomorrow and Sunday. Although Sunday I do plan to go to an RSPB place uh, not too far away and uh, see if I can see a gosh hawk there if I don't get a chance to see one here. Come on, it's only a bit mad. That bad, it's too nice, not that deep. Come, come, good girl. There's a seat over there. The only question is how to get there without going across the log. Still, kind of like this place. Wish I brought my Wellington boots because I could just jump down there and get across. I have already seen two divers down here ah. but I'm hopefully going to set up I'm going to set up a uh, bird feeder near here I'm thinking a long match work uh, tree there falling down would be quite nice I'm going to walk to the end of the path and then decide on the way back. As it starts getting dark, I have decided the best place to go is where the bench was. Now i just got to hope I can find it on the way back. Uh, I just noted on the left that there was a wall. So hopefully if I can see that wall, which I think is just on this corner, I can go down there and find it, and find it again tomorrow morning when I need it. And Dora's just enjoying the walk. If you're quiet for a minute, you can hear. Oh, lovely birds around. As a blackbird flies by. And I've also heard the call of a gosh hawk when I come down here as well, so hopefully I can see that tomorrow. If I've seen it tonight, I might be a little bit disappointed because the light is so bad now. Never going to get a good shot of it. So I've had my breakfast this morning. Now I'm making my way to the first place I put some food. I can hear a woodpecker in the background, which uh, is quite far distance away, so probably won't be able to see him. And uh, hopefully see what we can get this morning. Just walking past and notice there was a nut hatch flying back and forth to here. Seems like someone else is setting up feeders on there and because the birds have got used to it they come back multiple times. Uh, that's a nut hatch on it now, you probably can't see it on this camera.
Just down by the lake at the moment, which was my first stop this morning. Uh, but I didn't get anything this morning, but I have got some pictures now. Hopefully they're all all right. There is some mandolin, I think they're called ducks. Over. So I found my way to the other weir. It does look pretty promising. Uh, it's just a question of where to sit. There's a little island there, which is tempting to walk across and see how we get on. I'm gonna have a chocolate bar while I'm here as well. I spent a couple of hours sat here and hoping. Had a change of mind. I'm actually going to go back to the place where I set it up, which I have seen them flying around, but it was too dark to take any photos. Um, but first of all, I'm going to see if I can get some picture of those mandolin over there um, before going to them back where I set it up last night. So I spent about half an hour taking some photos of the chaffinch. Try again. So I spent about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes taking photos of the mandolin. Got some really nice photos uh, using the foot method. Uh, putting the camera right down towards the water and using my foot to balance the end of my lens. I would show you how it's done, but I don't have a tripod at the moment. I'm just using my phone for videos. And I've only got the one body. Maybe in the future I'll show you a video of it. Uh, but for now, I'm going to continue back to where I set up the feeder and where I have seen some dippers as well and hopefully get some uh, photos I can use if not the feeder there hopefully will give some other birds to take some photos of while I wait
Yes, typical. That was the white throat which flew by, but there was a pair of them. I got a couple of photos of one of them which stopped a little bit further upstream. Um, they've now split. One's gone up, one's gone down. So I will stay here a little bit longer and hopefully get a closer photo or I might actually walk a little further down and see if there's another place I can stop. We're warming up the car while taking Dora out for a wee and cooking some evening pot noodle thingy. Morning and uh, now at New Fancy Road parking. I'm trying to find a gosh hawk. Gonna go and have a look at the information sign, see where we can walk, and then uh, take it from there. Hopefully we can see place which is higher up, looking over. There's supposed to be a viewing point somewhere. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to see them. I might be able to see them in the distance, flying up, displaying. But as per normal, no guarantee. And here's the information sign now. Ah, uh, great. I wanted something a bit more closer up. So this will be the viewing point, and uh, have a look what it's all about. in the morning. Thanks for watching. In this instance, I was able to find the two birds I was after. I am going out next week or this week to get some more bird photos. A subscription to the channel would be absolutely brilliant and it really does help the channel. Remember, you can also support me by buying some of my photos over as a digital copy or as a or as a canvas or as other variations as well from rpcamera.pictures you can also write me a comment below if you want to get in contact and i will answer it as soon as i can cheers bye